International students are racing back to universities, especially in top destinations like the US, the UK, and here in Australia. Last month, 143,000 students returned to campuses in this country. This comes after three years of turmoil after borders were shut due to the pandemic. Universities worldwide were hit hard as international student numbers dropped and revenues were decimated. The snapback has been faster than anyone has expected. In the US, new enrollments have already returned to pre-pandemic levels and the economic benefits are huge. At their 2019 peak, education exports generated billions of dollars to the economies of choice destinations, with US universities generating up to $44 billion. But with inflation running high in several countries, observers are worried about the strain an influx of students will add to economies. In the past few years, we could run a house with like two or three hundred, but it's up to seven or eight hundred in this year. Meanwhile, the university workforce is still recovering from job and pay cuts imposed during the pandemic. International education will continue to underpin the business models of universities, but it's yet to be seen whether they've learnt the dangers of over-relying on foreign students to generate revenue. What we really need is for universities to come out from under the grip of, of the market. Well, I mean, education is a human right. It shouldn't be treated as a commodity.